we move on to the next slide. Well, here we are. So we can't we can't stay away. Just like we can't stay away from Greece, we can't stay away from from what's going on in the in the telecom stroke media space. So Altis uh, SA, which we've spoken about before. In fact, I'm literally a month ago to the day we we last mentioned this company has made an offer uh, to buy the telecoms arm of conglomerate French conglomerate Bouygues. Um, that's re quite surprisingly that's been seen as uh, as, a, as good news for both Altis, whose shares are up 21% to 139 euros, and Bouygues, uh, whose ticker is EN, they're up to 38.43, and they're up 14.29%. Now, the reason probably for the sharp uh, bounce in Bouygues is quite clear, obviously, that, that bid from Altis, but, but they, they've uh, offered uh, around 10 billion euros for the Bouygues uh, mobile telecoms business. That contrasts with the total market cap of Bouygues of around 12.95 billion. So a division suddenly is worth you know, the lion's share of the group on that valuation. Uh, the Bouygues board will meet on Tuesday to debate the offer. It clearly, as we just outlined, it offers shareholder value, but I'd be very surprised if it was completely turned down. But things in France are, are never uh, as, as clear cut as that. So Altis has also approached at the same time uh, a competitor uh, of uh, Bouygues Telecom, a thing called Iliad, uh, that owns a mobile network called Free. Their shares are up by 12.44% this morning to 230.5. Um, so, you know, Altis is trying to do two things at once. Try and, it's try an and absolute um, I'm sort of frenzy of m and speculation it, it and is. activity. It is. And then you, you can, you know, we, we, when we spoke about Altis a month ago, we mentioned them in conjunction with their purchase of uh, a, U, a US cable company called Suddenlink. But just to give viewers a bit more uh, background, Altis has also recently bought out a big chunk of Portugal Telecom and it edged out Bouygues and the French government uh, in a battle to to buy uh, Vivendi SA's mobile network SFR. So all of the, you know, we mentioned Vivendi mm. uh, on the European moves, these the wheels within wheels. Um, competition authorities will probably look very, very hard at, at these uh, uh, two potential purchases uh, for Altis. Um, and, and as I say, the French government's in the background, so it won't be straightforward, but. Uh, but Mr. Drahi, who runs Altis, is you know really make, trying to make his mark on both sides of the Atlantic, and this has potentially also got ramifications for Dish Networks and T-Mobile in the US, who are rumored to have a domino effect all over the place. Absolutely, yeah. So keep keep an eye on this space; it's not going away.